Andy Walls, Home Lake. Yes. Let's talk about Pacagama a little bit. Uh, talk to us about the lake itself and how it breaks down and the structure for, because this is a large and smallmouth lake, right? Absolutely. This lake really excites me. It's a ton of fun. Um, you know, it's not the biggest one we've been to all year, but it fishes really big. There's a lot of structure out here. There's shallow flats, deep flats, humps, points, you name it. Um, and it's gonna fish pretty good for us. The big thing we got going is the weather's changing. So the small mouth, the large mouth, they're both all gonna move around. Um, but I've been finding them grouped together. So it's, it's been really fun out here. Um, it, uh, you know, there's a bunch of arms on this lake. They all have deep water and uh, there's smelt in all of them. So it's a smelt-based fishery. These fish really shift around and follow those things. So it, you know, it's a lot less weeds than I've seen out here in a really long time. And it's got the fish not really hunkering down too much. Um, and kind of just figuring out what they will bite. So you just gotta kind of figure out what they're eating and what the, you know, what they're sitting on. And they kind of, it's a pattern lake. So they replicate it all throughout the lake. You just have to be able to know more and more of those areas to go keep doing it on once you figure it out. So, you know, with the weather changing like this, I think the fish are changing every day. I've been noticing it out here that, you know, I haven't fished every day, but I've been out here a little bit because it is, you know, my hometown. So um, I've been out here three times now. This will be the third day. And uh, every day they bit something different. They've been in a different place. They've been doing something a little bit different. So is this going to be a, a, a mixture, a smallmouth and largemouth thing? Is it going to turn into a largemouth thing? I think with this wind, it could go either way. Um, you know, if, if you find the right group of smallmouth out here, you can win this thing really fast. They average really nice size. They're probably a little bit bigger top end than the largemouth on average, maybe. Um, but it's filled with largemouth too. I'm gonna to target largemouth. I think I can swing them in the boat a little quicker on a casting rod and hopefully I can just catch more of them in the big wind tomorrow.